So I'm gonna go over just a list of things that you can say to someone who's considering an abortion. Children are a gift from God. We're told this in Psalm 127, three through five. Your child's life is valuable because they're created in the image of God, just like you are, Genesis 1, God commands us not to murder, Exodus 20, 15. Abortion is murder by definition because it's the premeditated killing of another human being with malice or forethought. We tell parents, you know murdering your child is wrong because God has written his law in your heart in the form of a conscience, Romans 2, 15. If you go through with having an abortion, you will be guilty of murdering your own child and you will have to give an account to God one day. This is based on Hebrews 9, 27 that says, it is appointed once for man to die and then comes the judgment. We will all have to give an account to him. They will not get away with killing their child. That child's blood is on their hands. Turn away from your sin and put your faith in Christ. We preach the gospel, Mark uh, 1, 15. Also, God hates the hands that shed innocent blood, Proverbs 6. God hates those hands. God doesn't simply love everything. There are things that God hates, and murdering innocent children is one of them. Uh, one of the things that's very important that we say to mothers and fathers out there is, if you don't murder your baby, we can help you. We have resources, financial help, personal help. Do the research, be willing to find out the pregnancy centers in your area so that you can connect them to them. Be willing to adopt a child, go through the process of um, getting certified for adoption or knowing families who are certified for adoption. Um, be willing to help someone help connect them to a family that will adopt their baby. Help them find a job, give them a place to stay. As Christians, we must not, uh, we can't just preach the gospel and that's it. We must be willing to do life with them. We must be willing to um, walk out what we're saying, providing a place to stay if we can, financial help. You don't want to make promises that you can't keep, but you want to be prepared. And the one, way, one of the ways you can be prepared is by having the backing of your church so that you have a body of believers who you can go to and say, here's a need that we ha need to meet. Who can do this? Another thing I like to tell parents, why not put your child up for adoption rather than killing them? Um, adoption is, is a better issue than murdering your child. 60 million murdered in our country, that's a scary count. Wombs become a death camp, trash can, a burial. American Holocaust, more than all the soldiers lost in every single war. It's an era marked in gold. The innocent.